We talk about the three A's to unlocking the uptake of scalable zero emission fuels in shipping and thus unlocking shipping's decarbonization. The first one is availability, the second one is affordability, and the third one is acceptability. Now, Arun assured us that availability will not be a problem. So India can supply all the fuels that we need for shipping that are hydrogen based. Affordability though, I think Arun did touch on a key point, which is that we need, especially in the early stages of the transition, we need to reduce the cost gap between our traditional fossil fuels and the new green fuels that need to be find their way into the sector. And the IMO is critical here. Carbon price a levy, another mechanism that reduces that cost gap at the IMO. But national governments can also play a key role, especially in the early stages of transition. National policy support for first movers can play a critical role to unlock the uptake of these fuels and cost sharing in the value chain. We see ports around the world making schemes to preferential treatment for zero emission ships. There are cargo owners that are willing to pay a surcharge. There are banks that are willing to provide favorable lending conditions. So there's lots of willingness in the supply chain to help reduce the cost gap in addition to the policy measures that we know are needed. And then finally, acceptability. And here in particular, the global and local standards that are needed to make sure that the fuels can be used safely. And here in particular, a focus on seafare education training. I think it's encouraging to hear about the specific role that India could play because of the existing capabilities around use of ammonia. I think that's great. That's something we should learn from and apply that in the shipping sector.